and Tiara here with Luna Fay Creations. Thanks so much for tuning in to another soap making adventure. You guys might remember these tumbled stones here. Camera just wants to get my face. I have used them before on this soap. This is the Sunstone soap. If you haven't seen this one, there is a video for it and you can go back and re-watch or watch it for the first time. I still have some of those left over and I'm thinking, what could I do with them? Of course I have to put them on another soap. So I wanted to do something a little different. We're gonna do a low top soap today and we're gonna use this lovely plant right here. This is a giant aloe leaf. Get it. So my friend, best friend Erica had a bunch of these plants that she was transporting in her car and one of them fell off and she said, I thought you could do something with this. And I said, absolutely I could. So when I was trying to come up with a design for the soap, like, I don't know, two days ago, I'm like, what can I do differently? Like, what do I have in my fridge or my pantry that I can add to soap and make this different? And then I was like, this is sitting in my fridge. I'm supposed to make soap with it. So that's do that we are going to extract the aloe vera gel from this and we're going to do some goat milk we're going to do a little activated charcoal and the fragrance i have is called black amber musk so i'm kind of going with that amber look um to go with the colors of the stone i don't know let's see how it turns out very very messy and very very sticky so I'm going to try to cut the edges off just little spiky bits and do my best here and then I'm going to peel it open and scrape out the fleshy aloe bits the gel that's inside of this I'm not doing a very good job cutting this <laughs> I think I need bigger scissors Maybe I could try a knife. Let's see. Oh, too much, too much. Okay. Take it easy. That's so much easier. Okay. I thought the scissors would be able to work. Let's do this side. What I'm going to do is I'm going to measure out how much I have here, and I'm just going to extract that from my water solution when I mix up my lye. Because it is a liquid, it is going to be considered part of your water discount. So let's see. This is so gross. This stuff is so gross. I don't know why it has to be so gross, but it is. So we're just gonna peel this top. It's like slimy. <laughs> peel this top layer off. Scrape out that bit, weigh it, and add it to soap. So. Let's do this. Ugh. Let's see. There we go. Doesn't smell great either. I don't know what I expected it to smell like, but it doesn't smell good. Look. It's like an alien. I don't know. Ugh. All right, let me weigh this and see what I have here. Get it in there. <laughs> About two and a half ounces, a little bit more, but I think what I could do, maybe, see if I get in. Well, we don't want that. Oh, okay. I might be able to scrape a little bit more out of here. Yeah. Okay, I'm done. All right, let's get that into our soap. So I need to get this to be less like a jelly blob. So I've added some of my lye water solution, um, all of this is at room temperature, into this bigger bucket so that I can stick blend it and get it smooth. Let's make this even more weird. <laughs> I added my goat milk powder in there and I'm just going to pour this into my oils and stick blend it to get all those clumps out. And then I will add in the lye solution, the remaining lye solution to this. Okay. 
All right, so we've split this off into three different bowls. I'm gonna start with this big bowl first. I'm going to add, this is Orange Vibrance by Nurture Soap and some Sahara Gold. Do a little mix of those, kind of equal parts. Not perfect. I also have off to the side a little cup of olive oil and that Sahara Gold. And then I'm going to do a mica drizzle into this, no, not into this one, into the next bowl. The next bowl <laughs> is going to be a black. So this is called Marcasite. It's a soapbox mica's color and still trying to get rid of those because the company no longer exists. But I like these micas that I have and I thought why not still use them? Activated charcoal in here as well. And then into the last bowl, last cup, I've got some titanium dioxide that is dispersed in water that I need to refill. <laughs> Let's see what we can get out of here. Don't really need too much. I mean, I mean, I think that's good. That's fine. Reminder to self, refill. And right, start by mixing up the lighter color, the white. So that looks great. I'm gonna hand mix in my fragrance, which is the Black Amber Musk by Crafter's Choice. It is an enchanting blend of black amber, clove, nutmeg, and musk. I like the spicy notes. No Vanillin had five stars on the reviews, so I'm going to assume it's going to behave here. I'm going to hand mix this in, and then once I get to the black, I'm going to take that um, Sahara Gold Mica and Oil and drop it in. Kind of give it a little twirl so that it's not just sitting all in one place. And then we're going to start to pour this into our molds. So I'm just scraping out my bowls here and I have some of this white left and I'm just going to put it down one side of the loaf and then I'm going to wait till I, I can texturize it. So these colors, I'm getting Halloween, I'm getting the Oriole Bird or Maryland baseball team colors. Um, we'll see what it looks like you know, once I cut it, if those colors deepen a little bit. I really wanted that gold to darken up that orange and add a little bit of a shimmer to it but we will see let me get the rest of this white out we'll let it sit just so that it stiffens up a little bit and becomes moldable so then I can get a spoon make a little design on the top of it and then I'm going to stick those stones on it all right let's give this a go I've got two different tools here Decide which one I want. Let's try. Let's try the popsicle stick. I don't think that's good enough. I don't know. Is it? Do I like it? I think I'm just going to use this spatula guy. So I'll shape this one side, and then I'm going to go back and add the stones down this way. Tis the land. So, I've used aloe vera before in the soap a while ago. 
and I used aloe vera gel so I'm happy to say that I've now tried it with a real aloe plant. Now you can use full liquid like replace your whole entire life solution with aloe vera gel that you can buy at the store or you can do what I did um, harvest a lot of it or just put in a little bit of it. So thanks to my best friend Erica for the aloe leaf. That was fun. All right, let's get the stones on. Um, I think I'm just gonna leave it no glitter or anything, just these stones on here, and then I'll come back in 24 hours and cut it. Well, actually, I don't even think I'm gonna be able to do that. <laughs> it's Friday, and our weekends are just crazy, crazy busy. Every single weekend until like November is packed. It is jam-packed with something to do. I'm gonna try and get the larger stones out of here first. We are going to the Renaissance Festival and we are taking Bash to his first one. Typically, we love the Maryland one. We now live far further away from it, so we're not gonna go as often, but I mean, we're gonna at least go once. We're about an, a little over an hour away from it. We're also a little bit, um, about the same amount of distance actually, an hour, a little more, than the PA Renaissance Festival. Bradley and I have never, put them down, try and put them down quietly. Have never attended the Pennsylvania one, so we are going to try that one first. I hear it's paved, which is going to be great for a stroller. <laughs> and it's not as crowded, so we don't mind taking him. Brad and I will do the Maryland one ourselves for my birthday with no baby. Oh, there's a big one. Put him on the end. And I'm excited to dress up. This is my dream, to dress up my child and take him to the Renaissance Festival. I wasn't fully prepared in, ahead of time, but I did make him a little garb shirt. And I'm gonna get him a little belt and make him a little Robin Hood hat or Peter Pan, whichever you like. And it's just going to be so cute. I am so excited. And he's going to have such a ball because I can tell you what, this kid is going to grow up knowing what the Renaissance Festival is. He is going to be no stranger to any of them. And I am going to post pictures at the end of this of his cute little outfit. I am so excited. And I'm so excited about this soap. It's gorgeous. I love it. Okay, let's give you guys a close up and I'll come back and cut it one day <laughs> and show you what the inside looks like. Let's give it a spray with rubbing alcohol and tell you one more thing. I really wanted to do a chopstick swirl with this so, but that fragrance behaved so nicely that I thought I would just do the drop swirl and see what it looked like. That was a great fragrance. Look what I got. This just showed up. It was a gift from Bradley for our five year anniversary. Um, it is a multi bar cutter. So I've been using a single bar cutter for years and years and years. And I've always wanted one, but I was like, do I really need it? Five year anniversary. The traditional gift is a wood gift. And so this was just so thoughtful and um, fitting for wood. So I'm gonna use it. <laughs> but the, it's gonna take a little getting used to. I'm really gonna have to pay attention to how I line my embeds up now and um, not be so lazy about it. Cause it makes a big difference when you gotta cut a whole bunch of them and line it up and not butcher them all. But let's see how this goes. So the Renaissance Festival, I would say was a hit. I don't know how eager I would be to go back. Bash did great. I think he had a grand old time, no problems whatsoever. I don't know how hard to push down on this. I'm not used to this. Uh, I did kind of go a little wonky over there. Uh, and I would take him back, but I don't know how eager I would be to go back. It just made me miss the Maryland Renaissance Festival. I mean, even the food at the Maryland one is better. So, eh, it was okay. I'll still post some really cute pictures at the end. Here's the inside. I love these swirls. I think they're gorgeous. I love this soap. I love this cutter. I love the top of this. I love the stones on there. It smells so good. It has aloe in it. This is just perfect soap for this time of the year. The colors, the smell, love it. So there was a 
this is, I don't know why this is the funniest part of the whole entire trip. There was a raven there that they had in captivity. I guess it got injured. I think it was missing a leg. So I guess they decided it would be a performer. And if you give it money, it would put it in its little piggy bank in its cage. And so I got all excited and was gonna run over and grab a dollar bill. And when I got over to the cage, the woman sitting next to the raven was like, Edgar is only accepting $5 bills or higher. And I'm like, excuse me, that is the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. You don't want my dollar bill, I'll keep it. I've never knew birds would be so picky like that. I'm pretty sure he would have taken anything I had given him, just saying. So it is located on a winery. I don't know if I said that or not, but it was gorgeous and it was nice. It just wasn't the Maryland one. So anyway, yay for new soap cutter, yay for this soap. It will be available on October 29th. So you can mark your calendars if you wanna get your hands on one. Got a little, got a little creaky cut on there because of that stone got in the way, but it's still a good looking bar. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give me a thumbs up. Questions or comments, leave them in the comment section down below. Hit that sub subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And until next time, I hope you have a very nice day. And I will smell you later.